All right, hello everyone, my name is Dan Zendan and welcome to the intro for Life in Bunker. You are looking at the intro for the game. Life in Bunker is a bunker simulation game, as you might expect by the name. And there we go, that's the intro of the game. And that's how it starts, there we go, underground. Right, so uh, Life in Bunker is a game developed by Flock Studios, who kindly provided me with a code for the game. The game will be released on the 25th of February, so that is in two days as of this recording. Probably tomorrow when I release this video. Um, so let's see what's what here. It's a sort of a blind-ish playthrough. I did play the tutorial at least, but that's about it. So um, I'm very curious myself as well, I suppose. Um, yeah, as you can see, we are playing the development build here. So some stuff might actually uh, still change before release, but... This is basically probably the, the final release version. Um, so let's quickly take a look at the settings here. We've got the language. That's all the sort of basic stuff. Uh, Autosave um, might actually be handy. No, not for this playthrough. Um, video uh, settings here. We've got resolution full screen, V-Sync, quality is at max. Um, it's not a not a, a, a difficult game to uh, to run for any sort of PC. Basically, my PC can easily handle it, and it's not the best PC out there. Uh, so there you go. Target frame rate, very interesting. Bloom as well. You can even set the display. Um, let's see audio options here, and you can rebind some controls as well, which is always good to see. Right. Um, I guess we'll just uh, jump in here. We can actually pick a bunker. Um, which I guess we, we will just name Bunker. Bunker 1. There you go. Oh, this is actually the console, apparently. Old school. Okay, uh, world size, small and large. For me, it's old school at least. Large uh, will do fine, I think. Uh, we'll leave this all on default. Mole Man are the sort of enemy in the game. Uh, those guys just uh, come up out of nowhere and then start attacking your citizens, your Bunker citizens. So, uh, but um, in the tutorial, they were very easily uh, defeated by my uh, by my bunker citizens. So, eh, I don't know. High risk of mines. We'll leave that on. We are not playing the tutorial. We are just going to play create a uh, a bunker here. And there we go. We are now in the game. I had a little glitch there. Uh, I suppose that's uh, to be expected for a development build. All of a sudden, my screen turned black. My recording screen, it is. The game was running fine, so no worries. Right, this is the how we start off. We've got... Ooh, there's a mole man there already. Interesting. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. We've got our uh, basic stuff here. We've got a an, an air purifier for the oxygen levels here. We've got another air purifier and another one. Um, this is our incubator, where incubator where we um, make new babies three at a time. I guess we can just uh, start doing that right now. Um, we've got a reactor for our power, a waste container for garbage, uh, water pump, which is obviously very important, uh, and some storage containers here. And this is uh, the the entrance to the outside world. We can rotate the camera around, by the way, with uh, Z and X. Or Z and X, depending on where you are. Um, and just move around with W, A, S, and D. And our mouse button as well. Um, the main entrance is sealed for 50 cycles. We are now in cycle... Uh, the first cycle. Cycle zero. It will be open when the atmosphere is suitable for living on the surface. So, I guess that's basically how long it takes for the, uh, the atmosphere to clear up after the uh, nuclear missile that we just saw in the beginning. Right, so what we will we do? I guess we'll start just digging some stuff out of here to create some more rooms. Um, the way we do that is, um, well, let's see. We can start digging. Now, we can't dig into this because it's uh, basically too advanced for us. So I guess we'll just start here. I don't know. Something like this. Um, and we'll confirm it. Right. Uh, we've got a lot of rooms that we can uh, build. We've got doors and lifts here. Uh, life support, all that important stuff that we basically already have. Residential zone, single bed, shower pot, toilet cabin, canteen, kitchen, infirmary, research station. Very interesting. A fridge, storage container, waste container. We've got a mining machine, which is important for our building materials, which we now have a thousand of, which is quite a lot. So that's good. A refinery to refine those uh, mining machine uh, stuff things into um, actual building materials. So that's a sort of production chain there and the incubator here we also have a garbage recycler we've got resting stuff for the people uh, exercise cycle very interesting 
and miscellaneous is vertical lamp and floor lamp right all very good um i think we will need to demolish this wall until we can actually start building here destroy or disassemble disassemble right first though we don't have any workers so we need to set up some uh, priorities here yevgeny skerach i suppose can you be a um oh, let's see i think we there's a, a better way to do this right i forgot something as well there is a, a different layers here we've got a water layer that actually displays our water grid and our electricity layer as well power grid layer that is and we've got a bunker status um here we can i think also pick who's doing what can you be a worker do we now have three workers Let's see how this works. Yes, there we go. They've changed their uh, their attire and are now actually workers. There they go. I'm not actually sure if there is such a thing as um, um, being good at something for those workers. Could be wrong. Okay, these are walls, which we will always also build, and we can also build doors and lifts. So I think we'll uh, create a door here, but for that, as you can see, we will need to demolish one of these as well. There we go. Sometimes the sound is just sort of gone. Ah, there we go. The music, I mean. The sound is basically always there, so that's good. Um, right, and there's also different layers. So, um, let's see. We are now at layer 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can go down four layers. Uh, but for that, you actually need to find a... a uh, what's it called? A shaft or something? A rift? And then we can build an elevator in there. Which I haven't done before, so that's going to be interesting. I'm not sure if we will get there in this playthrough. Let's place a door there, just for funsies. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the the use of walls is just yet. Uh, they are. I'm not sure if they're purely cosmetic or if they actually have a, a, a function as well. It seems that the map is uh, actually this is the end of the map. That's a bit of a shame. Um, Right now, this is blinking red, which I think means that it doesn't have power. Uh, let's go to uh, electricity and water power cable. Yes, there we go. Let's just hook it up, and our workers will make quick work of that. Bam. There we go. I think we can assign some more workers. Uh, worker. We also need a janitor, and an engineer might be nice as well. Um, for fixing machines, I believe. Uh, another worker. Did we pick a janitor already? No. So let's make you a janitor instead. I think she will uh, basically just clean up garbage. Kvang Piatowski. Yes, comrade. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. These guys are just standing around doing nothing. Um, worker. So yeah, the basic idea here is to uh, stay alive long enough for those doors to open. To open. Um, oh, actually, that's a mine here. I think I think we'll uh, build towards that instead. And it's a bit derpy that we started on a on the other side of the map, but perhaps we can use this room after all for something. Um, the tutorial starts off by creating sleeping spaces for the people, so I guess we'll do that as well. We can't build a door here, which is a bit annoying, but I guess also just fine with me. Okay, workers get to work, do stuff. Uh, we only have two designated spaces here for workers, and after that these guys will join in. I'm guessing. Do we have enough space uh, to... We might actually get some sort of sleeping spots in here, actually. Could be good. Um... Yeah, because we can actually build a wall here. I'm not sure if that's necessary, as I said, but... Uh, can I see... Okay, so this is the correct way around. Um, can we create more space here? Yes, we can. So we're now bu building on two fronts, which is fine, I suppose, but probably not efficient because these guys are now running around. Eh, oh, well. Okay. That's all good. And we'll place some more bats here after this has been cleared and I guess that's uh, good enough for now okay we've oh small earthquake can cause a landfall on empty tiles until the janitor cleans the debris you cannot build on these 
Okay, so this is, I think, debris. Yeah. So the janitor needs to come in now and uh, fix that. That's an engineer, not a janitor. Okay. Okay, so this is a bit of a bigger room. Let's see. What would we need next? I guess we would need shower pots and toilet cabins. Because, again, the... Um, the tutorial does that as well, so we'll just follow that for now. Um, let's create some more room here before we do that. No, not that. I really want to get to this uh, mine shaft here because that's where we're gonna get our um, basic building materials. So I guess we'll create a sort of hallway here. Bam, there we go. Get to work, you guys, get to work. Um. More space. Okay, there we go. I don't really have a plan here, so we'll see what happens. Um, although I guess shower pots should be easy enough. Let's just build them, right? Uh, well, perhaps the toilets would fit better here. The little arrow indicates indicates where the uh, actual front is, so that's good. This should work fine, I think. Now let's uh, hook it up with the uh, water uh, whoops water pipes uh, but actually yeah this is fine like so and like so uh, I, I guess this should work no one is working just yet but yeah there we go oh they are working very hard Okay, not occupied, but this is good. Uh, the blinking lamp means that the object isn't getting water. Okay, that's probably going to go away soon. Yes, we fixed that. All right, very, very good. Okay, so we do have some bats. Um, well, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I think it might. It restores when in use. Okay. The mole man just dug up a hole. We must close it before they overrun the bunker. Click the right mouse button to move the camera to the source of the event. Yeah, there they are, actually. These are the Mole Man. Okay, and this guy is going to take him on all by himself. Oh, he's, he's going to die, isn't he? Can we move him out? Can we... Will he... Do, go away. Don't do it. You don't have to be a hero. Wait, wait for your friends. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Health stats. Uh... Can we do something with him? Will he move away out, uh, on his own? I don't know. Worker. Be a worker. Let's give him something to do. No, that's not going to work. He's going to die, isn't he? Oh, it's a sad day for the whole bunker. Kwang. It's Kwang. And there he goes. Kwang is dead. No, not, not you as well. Why is no... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is this is horrible. What's happening? Oh, this first mole man died, though. How about... Oh! Oh, she did it! Krista Ivanova is our... Is, is, oh, it's so, so good. Light burns with the hot soldering iron. Well, that's a bit derpy. Luckily, she's uh, just hoovering up the, uh, the body here. That's gonna be fine. Her health, I'm not sure if it's gonna re rejuvenate uh, on its own. Okay, uh, so we now have a uh, clear pathway to the mining station here. So um, let's do something with that mining machine. And we need to build a refinery, but uh, if I'm correct, we will first need to... Let's clear some more space here. We will first need to build a floor to build it on. Can we actually see that? Let's see. Um, refinery. Concrete floor cover, yes. So let, I think it makes sense to build this close to the mining station, although I'm not sure if it, it matters. Um, but we'll just do it, just to be sure. Concrete, here we go. Uh, I think it's a 2 by 3 building. Um, so this should basically be fine. Those mole man, though. <sighs> Our first death. Luckily, we've got three babies on the way. Uh, to replace Kvang. Fialkovsky, or whatever his name was. I miss him already, can't you tell? Okay, there we go. This should be fine. Build the stuff. Got a lot of space here. I'm not sure if it, if it matters if you create open spaces, such as in, in RimWorld, I believe. If you create uh, too large of a space, then the 
the, the the building can actually collapse the the actual structure can collapse on itself so of course we will need to uh, prevent that from happening bam there you go um okay so now with the stuff that we are mining we will be able to create uh, building materials um, which we need because we've already burned through almost half of it uh, half of our starting building materials okay um electricity and water power cable here we go let's hook this stuff up that didn't work there you go okay i suppose that's gonna work not sure if our mini rack reactor can keep up that's a water pump actually and this is the mini reactor let's switch back yeah it's doing fine it's got quite some leeway still Okay, I saw a mall man uh, earlier here. I'm not even sure where we would be able to find more. Yes, there we go. Producing resources. Because I re really like to build another mining machine. Because I know that this is going to go quite slowly here, building materials. So I re really like to create some more. Oh, well. Uh, I think next up will be um, farming. Because we would need to supply ourselves with food as well. Um, yes, we've created babies. Dan Months has been born. Dan's two Dan's. Another Dan? No. Dan Shearer? Naomi Mrotz? This one looks kind of kind of plumpy. Who's that? Who's who's plumpy? <laughs> oh, okay. For now, I think they won't do anything. But when they grow up, uh, we're fine. Um, okay, uh, let's let's create some rooms here, more space even. There you go. And I want to create walls to to sort of get a structure going here. Because I um, I feel sort of slacking, slacking off for not building walls. Nah, double door. Sure, why not? Let's create a double door. Uh, okay. Let's see. Electricity. Let's run it in. Oh, it's actually inside this room already. So that's fine. And this will be our farm, basically. So we'll create some more walls. Perhaps this will be a uh, mining shaft somewhere. And actually, we could, of course... Create some more room here. And that will be fine, I think. So I think the farming stuff, the vegetable patch, can only be built on a metal floor. Metal floor. Okay, um, so that is all fine. Metal. There we go. I'm not sure how large this is supposed to be. But I think this should suffice. There we go. Okay. And the room is almost finished. And we can always create some sort of uh, door here to uh, expand on this. But for now, I think this will be uh, all right. Okay, well, let's build the uh, the actual farming stuff here. Vegetable patch. Um, I'm not sure. I think we'll build some more floors. I'm not sure if this is necessary, but we'll just do it to be sure. There we go. Okay. And some walls as well here, just to close this off. I hope you don't... Uh, this is going to be derpy, isn't it? Okay. Because there's someone there. I don't want to lock her up. Oh, another landslide. Earthquake caused a landfall. Let's see. Yeah, run for it. Be quick about it, Mrs. Janitor. Okay. Um, okay, this is now, this is now good. Farming, vegetable patch. Well, this, yeah, this makes sense. And I think we need a, a freezer, some sort of storage unit to... Or, or building materials? No, waste container. So we need a fridge. Fish, vegetables, grains, or fruits. Okay, so we'll create it in the same room. Although I now see that this isn't really an effective use of our space. So perhaps we will build it somewhere around... Just looking for the correct space here. 
No, not in the middle of the pathway. That doesn't make any sense. Let's create it here. And then we'll hook that up with the necessary stuff and this as well. I think we need to get water pipes to the farm. There you go. Not sure if the fridge need, needs... Um, probably not. Needs uh, water. But we'll just add it. Just as in prison architect. There we go. Okay, we don't have a farmer. That's a, a good good point. Um, so let's see if we can find a farmer here. Let's actually go like this. Who's a farmer and is not doing anything? You are a... No, that's a janitor. You are a farmer, but you are now also an engineer. But that's fine. We'll just make Yevgeny Skerer a, um, an engineer. Right, we need a cook. That's next, I think. How are they doing health-wise, though? Stats. Toilets, some stuff. Okay, this is actually going down now. I'm not sure if, the, if I... Uh, I actually experienced that in the um, in the tutorial. Okay, so what we'll do is probably create another room here. Uh, actually, let's leave that one wall. And this will be our canteen. Uh, that's the fridge, and we need to set it to uh, vegetables. No, that's fruits. Vegetables. There we go. Seems all right. Yeah, see, there you go. We've actually... He's slacking. He's actually not in a correct place. Let's fix that quickly, please. Yevgeny, how could you desert us? That's a bit derpy, I must say. Uh, vegetable patch constructed, yeah, it's okay. And we now have a farmer. There's a Jessica Citro working the farms. Very nice. And that will be stored into here. And I think those goods will be used to uh, create food in the canteen so let's see if we can make that work here um, yeah I think this will be fine no actually I'm gonna create a, a proper door this time oh, I already did it okay cannot be destroyed well okay fair enough um, we'll just create a door like so in that case there we go um, let's just demolish this as well, and then we'll build walls there. It's gonna be a small canteen, isn't it? Um, but I think it should be fine. Residential zone? No. Canteen table. Kitchen. Yes. Okay. Let's put that down. How big is the canteen table? Actually, not that big. Like so. And the kitchen, like so. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we'll see, we'll see. Walls. Like so. What's this? Garbage. We are now filling up garbage. Okay, is this, is this uh, thing doing anything with it? We probably need to set up some kind of uh, garbage disposal. At some point, at least for now, we could just dump it in these kind of containers, I think. Okay, how's our... Um, we've got some ore going. But we need to, f to hook this up with... Um, prob probably just um, electricity and water. There you go, power cable. This door isn't working yet either. Okay, and water pipe. Let's go like so. There you go. I think that should work. Oops. Let's take a look. No, not again. Ah, come on, you guys. Yeah, that's that's not working properly just yet. That that sort of pathfinding. Luckily, he can get himself out of there. But it's a bit derpy to begin with. Okay, now we need a cook. Are you a cook by any chance? That would be so nice. Yes, Akaria Wuti Vongoyotin, Vongochin. Look at him go. Him? Her? Akira? I don't know. Okay, so I think that this is fine now. Let's create a wall here. Just for the sake of it. Okay, we are now creating meals. Yes. 
Now, I'm not sure where we are supposed to store that. What's this? Vegetables, fruits, grains, fish. Vegetables. So what will happen? The meals prepared with several types of ingredients restore the hunger significantly better. Your residents will stay fat much longer. Okay, so he's now creating a meal. I'm just going to call him a he. I don't know. There we go. Ingredients one. Just the farming stuff. I guess there's cooked meal here now. Will someone start eating though? Probably when they are hungry. I think this should be fine now. Okay, and how's the farm doing? Seems to be fine, but we don't have any vegetables just yet. Perhaps it's because this bar isn't uh, full yet. Oh, mm, perhaps. Oh, there we go. There's a mule. So now people can eat, I think. We've got four meals ready to go, but no one's hungry, apparently. And again? Walking. Well, that's not what I want you to do. Uh, okay, can we fit another um, vegetable patch in here? What's she going to do? Going to the toilet. Yes, they work. Okay, that's great. Um, yeah, I think we'll uh, move in this general direction and actually um, start building another of those farms. Because I don't think it's going to fit here. Because then we would need to move this machine, and I really don't want to. Um, so actually, this can actually be gone. Still not sure about the walls. This guy's now not doing anything anymore because uh, the canteen table is full and the kitchen is full as well. But we've got now we now have eight meals ready to go, so I, I think it's that's good enough. Uh, right, we need probably need a resting zone as well. We've got a lot of space here, so perhaps we'll just build that here as well. Let's create some more space for ourselves, like so. Okay. And the flooring here. Do we have enough building materials? I don't know. Metal. Uh, this is enough, right? Yeah, I think so. So, I'm not sure if this is necessary, creating another vegetable patch, but it feels like the right thing to do here. Uh, we've got enough. I was really expecting it to... Uh, oh, there we go. I was already plop down okay and yeah walls do actually cost something oh there's a mole man this is a much better place for him to spawn that was a lot easier and then again just hoovering everything up so nice okay yeah. hmm i guess if someone can explain the walls to me in the comments then that would be very nice also i'll just uh, look it up myself of course but I'm not sure if it's uh, even necessary to create them. Um, okay, let's see. Ooh, water level is low. Some objects have been shut down. Why is that? How much water do we have? We've got vegetables, by the way. That's nice. Uh, what's the actual water pump? Okay, so we are consuming quite a lot of of this so we will need another water pump water pump concrete floor cover yes so why can we not build here that's interesting seems to me that this should work right even though it's a uh, derpy uh, in a derpy place oh well i guess we'll just create another concrete floor and then build it on there this is the the uh, part of the game that I haven't explored yet if you couldn't tell yet um, let's do it like this I like the amount of space that we have though the large map is certainly a lot of fun okay let's uh, let's see if this works and then uh, we'll probably call it a day not sure if I'm gonna create a second episode. Let me know if, in the comments if you would like that. Um, I'm just gonna look at uh, uh, 
how much you like the series as well. You as the viewer. Yeah, there we go. We can actually create it. And then um, we'll decide after that if we have uh, space on the channel for this uh, or not. I would certainly like to explore the game a bit more. I think it holds uh, a lot more in storage than we uh, have now been able to show you. Or I've been able to show you. Uh, there we go. Bam. That should work, I think. Whoops, keep clicking on the wrong button there. Okay, so probably, I think, this should fix the water problem. And then this one should be hooked up as well. It doesn't have a farmer yet, though. But I th I'm not sure if this one farmer is going to be enough, because she's slacking half the time, so... My guess is that she will be uh, more than enough to get these two uh, vegetable patches up and running. Um, there's something wrong here. Is it electricity? Yeah. So we'll fix that. And then it should be good to go. Oops. Okay. We'll still have quite some building materials uh, ready to go. But... Uh, it would really be ideal to get another mine somewhere. That mole man, though. He's just waiting for his chance to, to get in our base and start killing everyone. Well, you won't do it. Okay, water problems should now really be solved. Consuming water, 30 liters. Producing water, 150 liters. Yeah, this is all good now, I think. So, yeah, she's now also working the dispatch. Um, so our grains are going up, and really we probably need uh, no, that's a vegetable actually. Where's greens coming from then? I don't know. Oh, another landslide. Got poisoned. Ate raw fish. Akira, how could you do that? You are uh, actually cooking, so I'm guessing that he's just. Uh, oh dear, he's, he's just not gonna die slowly, isn't he? Right, I, I guess that's the next step to build an infirmary. Right, in any case, we'll uh, put in a cut here. I hope this uh, quick look has given you a, a good overview of what this uh, game is about and uh, whether or not you will like it. Uh, I'll be sure to put a Steam link down below. It will be uh, released at the 25th of February. Uh, Flock Studios, uh, yeah. Shout out to them for, uh, for providing me with this uh, free copy of the game to play and show to you guys. Right, hope you liked the video. If so, then uh, don't forget to leave a like, uh, leave a comment and all that sort of stuff. And if you like the channel, then don't forget to subscribe for uh, updates whenever I release a new video. Uh, thank you in advance for doing so and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.